A robot named Shuang Shuang just graduated high school in China, walked the stage, shook hands, and took a diploma. In this video, we're diving into that jaw-dropping moment, plus why Brett Adcock's $2 billion, $300 million startup figure AI says their robot Helix is about to take over homes and jobs. We'll also look at how neuro-robotics and GFT are building real-world physical AI, and how a four-legged robot named Clarence learned to move like a real animal with zero training in the real world. This isn't a tech demo anymore, this is the robot era fully unleashed. And let's start with the moment that shocked the internet. A humanoid robot in China just walked the stage at a high school graduation like it owned the place. The robot, named Shuang Shuang, which translates to bright, was part of the 25th graduation ceremony at Shuangxi High School in Fujian. And what's crazy is that this wasn't some isolated performance on a tech expo stage. It was a full-blown, real graduation. Students cheered, teachers clapped. The robot paused at center stage like a human graduate, extended its hand for a handshake, and received a symbolic diploma that it slipped into a tote bag beneath its arm. The entire moment was captured on video and quickly went viral. But of course, this raised a lot of questions. Did the robot actually study? Did it pass any exams? And the answer is, probably not. There's no official word on whether Shuang Shuang completed coursework or had any intellectual capability to qualify for graduation. Most likely, this was symbolic a stage cultural moment to highlight China's progress in robotics. Still, the implications are huge, because this wasn't just a tech demo, this was a public ritual. A deeply human tradition, now featuring a robot. That says a lot about where we're headed. See, China's really leaning into humanoid robots. Demand for these machines at public events has surged recently. And Beijing's pouring money into development to stay ahead in the global tech race. It's not just about robots doing tasks. It's about robots becoming cultural symbols. Something you bring out, not just in factories or labs, but on stages and ceremonies and everyday life. Meanwhile, in the United States, companies are thinking about humanoid robots in a different way. Brett Adcock, the founder of Figure AI, just said something pretty bold. According to him, we're not that far from seeing as many humanoid robots in homes and workplaces as we see humans. And that's not just wishful thinking. Figure AI already raised over $2 billion with investors like OpenAI, NVIDIA, and even Jeff Bezos backing it. Their latest robot, Helix, just completed an uninterrupted hour of logistics work, moving packages on a conveyor belt, and the company says it's getting close to human-level speed and performance. Brett believes humanoid robots are going to be the ideal vessel for deploying artificial general intelligence. In his words, they're the ultimate deployment vector. Why? Because they fit into environments built for people. Door handles, stairs, coffee machines. Our entire world is made for human proportions and movement, so if you want to drop artificial general intelligence into the real world, humanoid form makes the most sense. And thanks to advancements in neural networks and hardware reliability, we're much closer to that reality than most people think. A few years ago, robots that could walk or pick things up without falling over were a novelty. Now, they're holding conversations, patrolling offices, offering employees water or coffee, and doing actual jobs. Figure says that its long-term vision is to eliminate unsafe or boring jobs and help people live more meaningful lives. We're talking warehouse work, elderly care, domestic chores. Basically, they want Helix to be a general purpose helper you can rely on in daily life. And it's not just Figure, Tesla's still working on Optimus, Boston Dynamics has Atlas, Agility Robotics built Digit, Amazon tested Digit in their warehouses before switching to in-house designs, and some of these machines can already dance, clean, take out the trash, or even do cartwheels. But while Adcock is dreaming about humanoids in every home, some experts are skeptical. Fei-Fei Li, for example, says that trying to use one form, the human form, for all tasks might not be efficient. Like, if you're building a robot for underwater exploration, why give it legs instead of fins? Her point is that energy efficiency and specialization still matter. So while humanoids might be great generalists, they're not a universal solution. On the other side of the ocean, Germany's neurorobotics is pushing in a slightly different direction, something they call physical AI. They just partnered with GFT Technologies to expand the AI capabilities of their humanoid robots. Neura already had cognitive robots that work in manufacturing, logistics, and even healthcare, but now they want to create a unified AI software platform that allows users to customize robot skills in real time, like plug and play functionality for robotic behavior. GFT used their own AI platform, Winx, to build the infrastructure, 
It's a cloud system that houses all the training data and behavioral models. The idea is to make these robots flexible, able to handle logistics, home tasks, or even care for elderly people, depending on what functions are activated. The companies say this will lower the entry barriers for robot deployment in both homes and industries. And in practice, it means we're heading toward a future where robots aren't just purchased like tools, but subscribed to like software. Neura is also integrating NVIDIA's full robotics stack. That includes Isaac Sim for simulation, Isaac Lab for training, and GR00T Mimic for behavior cloning. They're using these tools to post-train their MEPA service robot, refining its decision-making before it even enters the real world. The simulated environments are so realistic that when the robot gets deployed, there's barely any adaptation period. Everything it learned in the virtual world transferred seamlessly. In fact, Europe's robotics industry is now deeply tied to NVIDIA's hardware and software ecosystem. From agile robots to universal robots, pretty much everyone's using NVIDIA tools to accelerate development. And now there's also NVIDIA Halos, a full-stack safety platform for robotic systems that helps ensure that robots meet functional safety standards across development, deployment, and even certification. Companies like Boston Dynamics, SICK, and Toyota Material Handling Europe are among the first to sign on. So it's not just about smarter robots, it's about safer ones too. What's impressive about this system is how integrated it is. You've got simulation platforms like Isaac Sim, where engineers can virtually test robots in different environments, even extreme ones. Then there's Holoscan Sensor Bridge to connect AI perception systems to hardware. And on top of that, Halos includes an AI-powered inspector agent that monitors robot performance in real time. If something's off, whether it's a bug, a safety issue, or a weird motion, it flags it before anything serious happens. Even companies like Wandel Bots are now using the NVIDIA Omniverse to simulate robot behaviors virtually before real-world deployment. They partnered with EY and EDAG to offer a scalable automation platform that helps manufacturers go from concept to full deployment faster. So, while companies like Figure are laser-focused on humanoids as the future, others like Neura and Wandelbots are building out entire ecosystems to make sure those humanoids work well, adapt quickly, and stay safe. Now here's something a little different but just as fascinating. Researchers at the University of Leeds and University College London just built a four-legged robot called Clarence that learns to walk like an animal on its own. No pre-programmed gates, no step-by-step -step instructions, just AI learning how to move naturally across unfamiliar terrain. This robot uses deep reinforcement learning to figure out which gate to use, when to switch it, and how to adjust movement in real time without ever having seen that surface before. So it might trot on concrete, bound across gravel, or adjust its steps for overgrown roots. It doesn't have eyes or external sensors, but it still manages to keep balance and avoid falls. The researchers were inspired by how animals like dogs or horses adjust their stride to save energy, stay balanced, or respond to terrain changes. And what they've built is a framework that mimics this behavior, complete with gait memory, adaptive response, and strategy. In simulation, Clarence learned in about nine hours. Then when they put it into the real world, it handled timber, loose wood chips, and even random brush hits without any additional training. Think about that. Most reinforcement learning agents are good at very specific tasks, but fail when conditions change. This one didn't. The robot adapted to real-world challenges it had never seen before. And that's a major breakthrough, especially for disaster response, nuclear decommissioning, or planetary exploration where the terrain is unpredictable and dangerous. Everything was trained in simulation using hundreds of different terrains, the AI learned which gate was optimal for which surface, how to switch between them, and how to recover from disruption. The coolest part? No exteroceptive sensors like cameras or microphones. It's all internal. The robot simply feels its way through the world using principles it learned from animals. And they're not stopping there. Future versions of the framework could include long-distance jumping, climbing, and navigating steep or vertical terrain. The team believes that this system can be applied not just to four-legged robots, but also to humanoids and other morphologies. As long as the robot has similar limb structure, it can benefit from the same bio-inspired learning strategies. That's it for now. Hit the comments and let me know what kind of robot you think will dominate the future. 
Are we headed for homes full of humanoids or fleets of specialized machines built for every niche? Let's talk. And if you liked this breakdown, hit that subscribe button and catch you in the next one.